Hi, my name's John. Welcome to another Sunday Night Nightcap. In the first part of tonight's nightcaps, it's all lathe work and machine some aluminium engine spacers. In part two, I make a special spanner for a, a large motorcycle. I'm not sure what sort of bike it is. I'm sure some of the lads will be able to tell us from the pictures I've included. I also plasma cut some copper washers. Then I do a repair of a completely different nature. Um, I'm not going to tell you what it is, I'm just going to let you have a look, but I'm sure a lot of lads have done the same thing that I did. Anyway, that's enough talking, let's get on with tonight's nightcaps. These pieces of badly corroded aluminium are actually engine mountings of an old outboard motor. I've got to make two of them. Uh, I've taken as many sizes as I possibly can from them and averages out kind of what they are and I've done a little drone. And there's also an offset, that hole in the ends offset, must be on a cam to tighten something up. So everything I've drawn is in metric, except that hole, which is that hole, which needs to be reamed half inch. I've got some aluminium bar, we supplied some bar. I'm going to cut two pieces to length first, that I can get them out of, which will be like 100 mil long. And then I think I'll put it in the four jaw chuck and do the offset hole first. Then I can machine it in a three jaw chuck, one side, turn it over, and do the other side. Anyway, that's the plan. I've marked off the length I want, which is just about 100 mil. I need to part that off. So I think what I'll do is I'll put a, a tailstock centre in it. I mean, it is aluminium, but a tailstock centre, I'll just give it that a little bit more support. That's all it takes to do it. the line up the, the part and tool make sure it is nice and square to the job which it is there I need a little bit more blade than that right that will get through there need enough to cut through but no more Keep it as rigid as possible. I don't know what real aluminium this is. I'd say it was a decent grain of aluminium. Ah, straight away it made the horrible. I want to snap the end of the tool off noises. Like it and slow it down a bit. I do like machine aluminium, it's horrible stuff. That's better, I was possibly trying to melt the aluminium. Going a little bit too fast. First sign you get of a problem is it you hear a, a noise. And then you've got to know when to get the tool out quick. Right, that's enough. I'm gonna finish it off with a hacksaw. I've no shame in doing that. Don't forget if you're gonna use a hacksaw to lathe, put your bed protector in, it takes seconds. means you can break through and not damage the bed.
Right, that's the first blank done. I need two like that. I put it on the milling machine just so I can accurately mark the 7mm offset. There's nothing to really stop us drilling it on here because I've got plenty of material. So I need to go all the way through to the bottom. So the first thing I do is wind in the 7mm of offset. That's it there. And I can tighten up both axes on the machine and then in with the hole. I'm going to carry on and drill it on here or put it to forge or choke. It doesn't make a, a great lot of difference uh, because the, the, drilling, the drilling machine, the milling machine, does run nice and true. Right, forge or choke. Sure. Unfortunately, I've lost a bit of video. Uh, the stairs I'm up to is I've finished machined at the size and I've set it up to forge or choke on the offset, ready to drill the hole. I'll zoom in a little bit so you can see the gauge. Right, so that's within a thou or so, so that's pretty good. So I've got to drill the hole in there, same with the other one. Then I can put them in a the three jaw choke grip there and just machine the other end. I've got a mark there where I know the, the length's got to be. and the drill out to clean the, the swore from the hole. This is a W4, WD40 type of lubricant. You can use kerosene or paraffin but kerosene stinks and the way it doesn't like it. Just keep nibbling away until we get a hole all the way through. So basically that's the stage we're up now. Let's just start a little bit there to finish now. I've changed the chucks over and I've put it in a three-jaw chuck. As you can see it's running within less than a thou, so that's pretty good. Just to send the machine there was a little bit of chop off, it's a little bit too long. That's the, the part we chucked it on. And that's it, just about just about ready to, to finish off.
coming, not so full depth on that shoulder. So now that one's parting off the length. I think I'll just turn it away because there's a, a hole in there and the parting tool might dig in. I don't want to break another parting tool. We need to be 28 from there. Maybe zero. 28. Right, that's what we need to go down to. And just rough this off. So that's one done. I haven't put massive marks on with a chuck, it doesn't matter anyway because it's going to be more than some plastic from what I gather. But that's the first one done. Before I'm finished with the threaded aluminium, I've got a little space that I got to make, but one mil longer. I'll get it out at the end of there. True with all that, it's a piece of aluminium that's already been machined. It's definitely a different grade of aluminium, or I've just been machining. Chips on breaking as nicely as the other ones were. All I do in a case like that is zero the vernier on the diameter I want and then put the vernier onto here and you're going to get, you're going to get a direct reading a 1.35 off there to bring it down to size so we're daily in half 0.35 which is about there and that should bring it down to size it is. I'm going to use a spot drill instead of a centre drill. The spot drill is a CM angle, is the drill we're going to use. 
centre drills are really the angle of the centre. Horrible nasty sharp stringy chips coming off this stuff. Eighteen point seven. So that tips two mil. It is. So we touch that off gently on that face. Zero DRO two mil. Right, that puts us right on the end. Zero that again, and then we wanted seventeen point six five. I'll do eighteen. Then we'll turn it around and face it. Keep the nice constant pressure on. So it starts to make a noise like that, then you back off quick. Just about there. We want pawn three off the end of this bush to give us the length we require. Touch it off. Pawn three. chamfer on the end just so it looks like somebody cares. Let's just finish that edge off. Right and that's the last of the aluminium. So now I can clean the lathe off and I think I've got a fly with the light next. I actually got space up. One mil longer than that one. 